I'm the Chief Executive of Luton Foyer and we are an advice and support centre offering a range of services but one of our main activities is employment support activities. We are a next step contractor but it's been a constant frustration uh, particularly for the advisors that they can only work with um, clients for three, a maximum of three funded sessions. And I was very aware that they have uh, skills to actually work beyond that with clients that would be to their benefit. So I'm constantly scanning for new opportunities to develop that area of the work that will allow us to work on a more sustained basis for people and to take them further than we can through the Next Step service. Luton Borough Council released their programme of activities for ESF which I looked at and I saw what I thought was a perfect project for us. It was for people aged 50 and over, it was the right size for us and so I developed a proposal to meet their criteria and submitted it to them. I called it Experience Works and fortunately my bid was successful and so that was it, we, we were up and running with the project. The main objective of Experience Works is to support people aged 50 and over in Luton to develop not only their hard skills but also their soft skills, their motivation and their confidence to enable them hopefully to secure employment, possibly after quite a long period of unemployment. It was delivered by three uh, information advice and guidance advisors, all qualified to level four who have collectively more than 30 years experience of working in a similar role. Most of the referrals came from Job Centre Plus and the advisors met with those individuals, assessed them for their suitability for the project, whether they met the criteria and quite importantly whether they had the motivation to engage fully in the programme and work with the advisors to move on. A total of 50 participants were enrolled from October 2010 in a 14 month period. Having worked with those people, a third of them have been successful in securing employment, which is absolutely fantastic and we're really, really pleased about that. A further third haven't yet secured employment, but we know from keeping in touch with them and them coming in to see us that they're continuing with their job search activities using the skills, the knowledge and the motivation that we help them develop through the project. Only two days ago we had notification from a, a lady participant that she had been successful in securing a job and a gentleman was here yesterday with uh, asking for some help with preparing for an interview. So we expect that we will achieve some further job outcomes, albeit that the project has officially finished now.